It's the greatest cold case in human history. For thousands of years, two human species shared the continents of Europe and Asia. Then, around 40,000 years ago, one of them vanished, Neanderthals disappeared, and Homo sapiens inherited the earth. What happened? Did we kill them, outsmart them, or did something more complex unfold? The classic confrontation narrative of violent war of extermination is gripping, but likely too simple. Direct archaeological evidence of warfare between our species is virtually non-existent. No mass graves with Neanderthal bones bearing sapien-style weapon injuries, while conflict almost certainly occurred when groups met, as it does between any competing predators, it's unlikely to have been a coordinated genocide. A more compelling theory is that we simply outcompeted them. Homo sapiens may have possessed a slight edge in efficiency. Our social networks might have been larger and more complex, allowing for better cooperation and information sharing across wider territories. Some evidence suggests we had more advanced projectile technology, like throwable spears, allowing us to hunt from a safer distance. We may have simply been better at exploiting scarce resources, slowly squeezing Neanderthals out of the best hunting grounds. Then there's the climate. The period of the Neanderthals' decline was one of dramatic climate instability, swinging violently between cold and warm periods. This would have disrupted the large game herds they relied on. Their small, isolated populations, already stretched thin, were incredibly vulnerable to these shocks. For a species already struggling, environmental change could have been the final push over the edge. But perhaps the most profound answer is written in our own DNA. We didn't just replace them. We met them, and we mated with them. The genetic evidence is undeniable. Most people of non-African descent carry between 1-2% to Neanderthal DNA. This proves that when our paths crossed, the result was sometimes fertile offspring. This changes the entire narrative. Their disappearance wasn't necessarily a sudden extinction event. It might have been a slow absorption. As Homo sapiens populations grew and expanded, they may have integrated into our larger groups through interbreeding. Over generations, their distinct genetic signature could have been diluted, swallowed by the wave of new arrivals. They didn't just die out, they became part of us. So, what really happened? The answer is probably all of the above. There was no single cause, it was a perfect storm of factors. A changing climate put immense pressure on their way of life. They lived in small, fragmented groups, making them demographically vulnerable. The arrival of a highly adaptable, socially complex competitor, Homo sapiens created pressure they couldn't withstand, and ultimately, through interbreeding, their lineage faded into ours. The story of the Neanderthal's end is not one of a simple victory or defeat.